What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today we are gonna be answering some questions about our recent engagement. Babe, show the ring. Oh my God. Show the ring. Do I have to show the ring like in every clip, every video that if we make? If you won't, I will. Oh my gosh. I done put a lot of thought, effort, and money into that damn ring. Okay. It means a lot to me. It means a lot to me. It means a lot to me too, but that doesn't mean we have to be show-offs. We're not gonna be show-offs, but be a show off. Oh my I want god. You show I want people to know that you're mine. I want Everyone that. knows, babe. All right, and if they didn't, let's show them one more time. Let them know. <laughs> you don't have to go like that and show it all. You could just be like, look, real quick. Mm. Quick flip. There you go. See? She's taken. Anyway. <laughs> so we have a list of, I don't even know how many questions, but we're going to go right through them. All about our engagement. And you ready? Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead. All right. First question is, were you suspicious of anything before the proposal? Meaning me. All right. That's clearly for you. Yes, I was suspicious just because Isaiah does this thing. I don't know if I explained this on the channel before, but he likes to say things that like aren't really happening for example reverse psychology he, yeah he calls it reverse psychology but i feel like he's just be gaslighting me <laughs> like that's what it is but not in a bad way like in just like a joking way he's like oh yeah because like do your hair because i'm proposing tomorrow and he'll like mess with me constantly like that but i don't know i did have suspicions only because he was just like so adamant about taking pictures and i'm like we never cared about pictures before like why are you so adamant about a photo shoot yeah and that was the backstory if you guys didn't know i tricked her to make her think it was a photo shoot it was really a proposal yeah and he was super adamant on that and i was just getting irritated because i'm like i don't care that much to take pictures and he's just was pushing that so that was sus like his mom coming the same week to me was sus even though he said that had no co no correlation that was a coincidence um and i just was thinking about a whole bunch of things so I'm just like, okay, if he's gonna propose, then I have to have my stuff together. But it rained, and then that was just like... A day and a half later, that's when the proposal really happened because the thunderstorm ruined it the first time. But in a way, the rain did its job because she was just like, yeah, no, there's no way it could be a proposal now. Like, mm -hmm. there's no way he can like redo everything a day and a half later, and I did. Yeah, and he was super chill the whole time, so I'm like, okay. Had to hold it. Had to hold in the anger. So, yeah, that was pretty much that. So, next question is, do we want a small or big wedding? Uh, I kind of want, me personally, I want something like just small, intimate, immediate friends and family, nothing too crazy. Yeah, we both kind of agreed that we want a small wedding just because, you know, life is different. As like, when I was younger, I wanted big parties and stuff like that. But as you get older, your circle just gets smaller and smaller. Yo, you're really my fiance. Like, I'm sitting here just looking at you thinking like, yo, that, that's my fiance. That's crazy. I have no sugar. I don't care, give me. That's crazy. Hello, <laughs> what, what? So yeah. We agree on a small wedding because we have a really small circle and yeah, we just, just better like want to keep it with the most important people in our lives that actually genuinely care about us and our relationship. So less people, less problems. Mm -hmm. Do we have a honeymoon location? Not really. Mm -mm. Nah, we're kind of just going with the flow. I feel like we'll start thinking about honeymoon stuff. Like, I don't know, maybe a couple months before our wedding. Uh, I think once we have like our wedding planned, um, then we'll think about honeymoons. But right now we're not really thinking about that because the most important thing is the actual wedding. And like that has to come before our honeymoon. But if you know a lot of good places, all inclusive, definitely places, let us know in the comment section because we really don't really know where to go. Next question is is how long did you have the ring for? Like how long were you hiding it for? I think I was hiding the ring for about, it was probably maybe like a month and a half, give or take. Mm -hmm. It was around like a month and a half I was hiding the ring and it was in a sneaker box in our closet all the way at the top where I knew she couldn't reach because <laughs> I couldn't even reach it myself. I had to get a chair when the time <laughs> came. But yeah, I was hiding it for about a month and a half. And the next question is, did you have a different location in mind slash idea originally? 100% yes. So like I mentioned before, the first attempt got ruined by a thunderstorm. So we had to cancel the photo shoot when it was really a proposal. It's supposed to go down at like a beachy location kind of, but being that, you know, the thunderstorm ruined everything, I was like, you know, it's probably better that I'm doing it now at this rooftop location where it really happened now. Because the waves I feel like would have been too noisy, you probably, 
wouldn't be able to hear what I was saying. The wind too, it's usually windy around like beachy areas. So I feel like everything happens for a reason and God was just like, I'm gonna get you mad my boy, but I promise you it's for the better. And you know what, it, everything happens smoothly and I, I wouldn't change a thing. All right guys, next question is, do we have a date for the wedding? So we've been getting asked this question almost every day mm -hmm. since we've been engaged. And it's only been like two weeks. Yeah, <laughs> but really quick guys, we wanna tell you about the Yoda app. So the Yoda app is basically the top astrology app for Apple and Android. The Yoda app gives you basically access to a 24 hour team of over 200 astrologers that will give you personalized readings based on your birth chart. So when you first download the app, they're gonna ask you questions like what time were you born, your birth date, uh, city and state that you were born and all that good stuff. And then you'll be able to ask all these astrologers, whichever one you want, the questions that you want answers to. So the reason why we're bringing the Yoda app up is because they actually help us with our decision on when we want to have our wedding so i kind of want to get married in a year i know that's soon but like we've been that's together really for soon. so long so i'm just ready to just jump right into it and isaiah wants to wait for two years so we kind of use the yoda app to help us decide when is the time that we're supposed to get yeah because it's like right now we have like opposite views on this i'm thinking more so just from like the stress-free financial strategic way of doing it like i just want everything to be perfect and i'm kind of telling her like i don't want her to rush into it and she says she's not but then we just have opposite opinions when it comes to this yeah it's like if you're a girl you think of your wedding for since like you're little so i just feel like the moment is finally happening like i have the ring and i just am so excited to just plan and yeah i think that's really what it is i'm not trying to like rush into it but anyway <laughs> I, I get it i get it but real quick guys let me show you a screen recording right here of what the app looks like and how it works all right guys so when you go ahead and you put in all the information that i ask you it takes you to this page and it tells you know welcome to yoda a team of authentic astrologers from the Himalayas. Now you don't need to travel far and wide to meet us. We are right here to answer your queries? Qu queries? Queries? <laughs> queries? Qu queries? I don't know. I don't Guys, I'm a little That's questions. It's all right, anyway. questions. And then it says, congratulations, you receive one question as a welcome bonus. And that's not all. You'll get a complimentary horoscope this coming Sunday. So now it says, not sure what to ask. Have a look here. So which category should we pick? I'm not going to ask it when we're getting married because I don't want to give you guys the answer of when we're getting married. I know. Married. I don't want to do that either. I want that to be a surprise for you guys. But what should we ask about? I think family. Family? Yeah. Okay. So should we do children? Because a lot of people ask us that now too. I don't want to know any of that though. I want to go with no, let's do children. No, babe, let's do like parents. Parents. <laughs> okay. Will my relationship with my father get better? My parents' relationship is going through a rough patch. Which one do you think looks best for us? Mm. I think we should do. Because this one's for you. Uh, how will my relationship be with my mother-in-law after marriage? Ooh, we okay. should try that. Not that it's bad. At no, all. it's I not. Just, it, like, is it gonna get crazier? Like, I don't, like, I don't know. Crazier? <laughs> like, like, I don't know. Like, are we gonna grow like a closer bond now because, like, I'm gonna be a parent? Like, I don't know. Like, let's see. Let's see. All right. So now I'm gonna go ahead. I pick the question. Let's send, and then we'll wait a little bit. I'm gonna turn my notifications on, and then now we're just gonna wait for one of our astrologers will respond to you within half an hour. It should take a couple of minutes. The astrologer got back to us, and by the way, if it got a little darker, it's because it got cloudy outside. So mm. we're using a little ring light now. <laughs> but so our astrologer got hi nene they said hello isaiah if you have birth details date time and place of your mother-in-law could you please send them to the best of your knowledge i've credited credited you with a free question for that thank you all right so obviously you would know this stuff yeah. so your mom's birthday right mm -hmm. which is june 22nd i'm gonna say hello her birthday is june 22nd 1980 1980 mm -hmm. and she was born around so i remember her saying it was around 6 p.m okay all right so hello her birthday is around her birthday is june 22nd 1980 and she was born around 6 p.m so now we will wait to see what they say i'm very eager to see what they're gonna say about the relationship between me and your mom i feel like everything's gonna be fine honestly <laughs> like everything right now obviously is already fine i want to know like are we gonna get like closer closer like how is that gonna work Yo, what if they say like something crazy like i don't know i guess we'll see <laughs> i'm so anxious to find out all right but let's wait for the response all right guys so we have dr Zaya. i'm pleased to confirm that your question will be answered within a few hours i went ahead and said okay i knew it wasn't gonna take a few hours because they quick on this app so then we go ahead and we got hello isaiah greetings based on the arrangements of planets in your chart you are under the benevolence of jupiter and venus 
Mm. Meanwhile, Jupiter is favorably aligned in your mother-in-law's chart. This shall support the two of you to cherish a blissful relationship in the times ahead. She shall love and appreciate your personality and remain supportive of you. She shall care for you like her own daughter. However, the weakly aligned moon in your chart and the unfavorable influence of Saturn in her chart might cause occasional differences and disagreements. But with a good flow of healthy interaction, you two shall be able to pave a common ground and build a healthier relationship. Moreover, the grace of Mercury is foreseen to bring harmony and balance in your relationship in October 2023, while January 2024 shall help you two strengthen your bond. All in all, good times are around the corner. Also, it seems that you might have faced challenges in your social life back in 2019, 2020, but a jovial, that's how you say that? Mm -hmm. But a jov jovial future <laughs> is ahead of you. Thank you. That's crazy that they said, bring harmony and balance in your relationship in October, 2023, considering that is when we will make eight years. And it's crazy how they mentioned 2019, 2020, that we faced some challenges, because that was when- That's when everybody I mean, faced challenges, but yeah, more so that, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, like I had moved out around that time like to live in Jersey with him so that's yeah. crazy see this is what like intrigues me and just wants me to ask way more questions I know <laughs> I'm about to be up all night just like asking questions <laughs> I'm gonna be asking all types of questions I'm telling you there's gonna be questions about my father I'm gonna be asking questions about my family I'm gonna be asking questions about our baby oh god all right <laughs> this is gonna be this is bad this is gonna be a I'm gonna be addicted all right so also I wanted to let you guys know that they have it available in in Android and in Apple and what's great is that if you use our code we have a promo called it's J N I promo and you go ahead and use that code and you can get one free question but honestly I just recommend paying for the whole subscription because you can ask as many questions as you want and I think it's so cool because they help with a whole bunch of things not only just astrology but like personal life stuff too I'm about to get the answers to mad questions I've been wondering all my life all right so let's go ahead and get back to the engagement questions next question is will nene be attending the wedding of course what the heck oh, i oh, want him he was he's just here. sleeping oh he's not he was just here i want him to be in the oh. wedding baby daddy's bothering you he's so tired oh he's not look at him yes he is His does this right look like the face oh. of someone that's tired yes <laughs> Maybe your ear. Look at them ears. Let me see him fix it. But yeah, I want him to actually like honestly walk down the aisle with me. Imagine he's the one that walks you down the aisle. He's gonna be my bouquet. I'm just gonna hold Nene like this walking down the aisle. You are not throwing him. <laughs> what? When they throw the bouquet? Babe, you don't do that when you walk down the aisle. Well, after the wedding or whatever, since he's the bouquet, you're not throwing him. Obviously not. I'm not going to throw my son. Like, what do you think this is? I'll be the first one to catch him. I'll tackle everybody no, just to catch him. I never do that to my baby. But yeah, he's definitely going to be at the wedding for sure. Next question is for you. Did you ask her parents? See, I wanted to go ahead and do that. But at the same time, you're always with me when I'm with them. And I didn't want to do something like, oh, I'm going to ask them over text or something like that because I'm just not going to do that. But at the same time, I did not ask them because we've been together going on eight years and they've never complained about me. So I would assume like I have their blessings. Honestly, at the same time, I don't want this to sound the wrong way, but I think asking, ooh, I think asking parents for a blessing, I just don't think that that necessary because at the end of the day it's my life I disagree you disagree I disagree because if in the future our daughter has a boyfriend and they've been together let's say for two to three years and then you know he just goes ahead and proposes without asking like yo can I have your like daughter's hand in marriage or whatever I'm like yo bro like you've only been together for like two to three years versus us is going on eight I'm like I feel like we should have been married already I guess we have different know. views. I, and I ask, also the app, think, ask the app, ask the app. Yeah, I think it also depends on your relationship with your parents. But yeah, moving on. Moving on. <laughs> uh, next question is, what will you do if I have lost the ring? If, if you lose, lose the ring, like how you pranked me a couple of days ago. That was a dropped, loss, I dropped it. Okay, but you dropped it down the drain. It's gone forever. Not true. So I, that, the way you guys saw me react in that, plank, that prank, I can't even talk right now because I'm just getting mad thinking about it. <laughs> The way you guys saw me react in that prank, that is how I will be in real life. I'm gonna be all over the place furious and I would be 100% mad. <laughs> how long did it take you to plan? Plan? Uh, 
if we're talking like from when the idea first sparked my mind like two and a half years ago three years ago when i actually started making moves towards it maybe like i was planning it for maybe about a good like two months what were you most scared about see the thing was like i i was telling everybody that knew like i am so scared i'm so scared and everyone's like why are you so scared she's gonna say yes and i'm like i know she's gonna say yes duh but <laughs> and if i would have said no <laughs> you would have never said no because the way you always be like when am i gonna get a ring when am i gonna get a ring <laughs> but like yeah i think i was just more scared of the like the action of actually doing it not the, the anticipation answer. yeah it was just like i didn't want to like mess anything up like god forbid i open that ring box and like the ring fall out like something like that and i opened it upside down but that's better than the ring falling out um next question is will we want an engagement party i would i wouldn't mind one but i i'm not like i don't really care for one you know what i mean like i'd rather just like let's do us and go vacation somewhere so isaiah is very like homebodied and low-key like in every aspect versus like i don't get me wrong like i feel like i'm low-key too but i love celebrating things anything any accomplishment i think that it deserves to be celebrated because life is short and you don't know like i agree uh, okay. i agree but i'm like yo i feel like it would be way more intimate and fun if we just go vacation somewhere okay so if like i don't know how engagement parties work like if someone else plans it like if it's supposed to be a surprise for us then obviously i'd be open and open to it because it's like we're not planning it and it's not something like you know that we went out of our way to do but if it's something nice that someone wants to do for us then we'd like obviously love it and appreciate it and i think i'd have a good time we can get you know lit with our friends and celebrate you know our uh accomplishments but like for us to go out of our way to do an engagement party, I think that's kind of head ass of, of us to do. I mean, I, I, <laughs> like, I wouldn't do me that. Me personally, I, I wouldn't, I'm not gonna say I wouldn't want one because I would be grateful for one. I would just prefer to go on vacation. We could do both. Okay, big baller, my fault. But uh, what what does that have to do with money though? Like if someone's throwing us a party, like that yeah, doesn't if, come if out some, of like- All right, if somebody's throwing us a party, then that's different. Right. But if we have to plan our own party, that's gonna be like, I'm gonna make it a big party. If I'm gonna put money into it, I'm gonna make it a big party. But, We're celebrating an engagement. And then obviously if I'm going on vacation, I'm, it's gonna be somewhere nice and I'm gonna make sure it's the money's worth and that's it. No, I literally just said though, that's what I said. Like if it's app. not us. Ask the app, ask the app. <laughs> the last question is, did you take out a loan for my ring? Man, hell no, I ain't take out no damn loan. My motto or like what I live by is if you can't buy it cash, don't buy it at all. Like I'm not taking any, like obviously you need credit and stuff like that. So like, but use your credit cards for like small stuff. You know what I mean? I'm not taking out a loan to buy like your ring. You know, well, I bought that straight like like cash. Like certain things you can all right, like a, like a like home, a car, a car yeah. like yes. But like if you're over here like taking a loan out, to buy like i don't know like a computer like bro just save up your money and buy it cash like i'm i don't know i'm i'm big on stuff like that i'd rather just buy stuff cash i'm always like that even cars though that's my problem yeah no nah, i ain't take out no loan i bought that baby straight cash go ahead show it oh my god <laughs> you want to show it off more than me yes look at the oh. That's crazy. All right, so that is it for today's video. I hope we answered all of your questions. Uh, there's certain mysteries that need to just be kept a mystery, like all the stuff regarding our wedding. That has to be a surprise for you guys. And trust me, the day will come. I don't know when, but it will. Um, and when it comes, you guys will be literally the first ones to know about it. It's gonna be crazy. But yeah, with all that being said, we love you and we will catch you in the next video.